Hello, my Tai Chi friends. Today, I'm going to introduce the next two movements from the simplified 32 movements Tai Chi sword routine. Movement four and movement five. Movement four is retract sword to your right, and movement five is to retract the sword to your left. From the name, you can tell the two movements are similar but different. Both involves retracting sword technique, but you retracting the sword to different side of your body. The retracting sword basically just make sure the sword is slicing straightly from front to back. The power is moving along the outer edge of the blade sword. In that way, you can cut through everything along the moving path of the blades. Let's start with moment four. Retract the sword to your right. I break down this movement into three steps. Let's first focus on the footworks. The three step footwork. We ended in left side bow stance from the previous movement. Left leg bent, right leg extend naturally. Weight on the left leg. Step one, drawing foot. Basically, you bring your right foot by your left foot. Full foot touching the ground, leaves heel lifted off the ground. Step two, step foot forward. You step your right foot to the diagonal front right direction. Like that, heel on the ground, weight still on the left leg. That's step two. Step three, press down the toes, turn the body, shift the weight, forming a side bow stance. That's a three step footwork for this moment. I'm going to give you another view. Left side of bow stance, drawing foot, step forward. Shift, forming a right side bow stance. Okay. Let's add the upper body movements to the footwork. This is the ending posture from the previous movement. Hand holding the sword in a spiral grip at your lower rib level. As you're drawing, your foot, you move your right hand closer to your body. Drop down the sort of finger to meet with the right hand by your right wrist. Let's put the movement together. Drawing foot, draw sword. That's step one. From here, step right foot forward. While stepping right foot forward, you extend your right arm to the front left corner direction. Left sword finger, just follow right hand. That's step two. Step three, while you're forming the right side bow stance, rotate your right wrist to make the palm from facing upward to facing downward. Then slice it back. So, retracting sword to the right. We finished the three steps of this movement, retracting sword to the right. I'll give you another view. Draw foot, draw sword. Step forward, extend sword. Retract sword. Finished. Now from the ending posture of a retracting sword to your right, we are going to connect it with next moment, retract sword to the left. Basically, same procedure, three steps. From the right side bow stance, you bring the left foot forward by your right foot, full foot touching the ground. Step one, drawing left foot. Step two, step forward, 
Step left foot forward. Heel touching ground only. Step three. Press down toes. Turn body. Shift weight. Forming a left side bow stance. Okay, that's the three steps of the footwork for the movement five. Now we are going to add the upper body movement to it. From retracting the sword to your right, draw foot and draw sword. Step forward, extend the sword, arm, sword on the same line. Shift weight, rotate palm, retract sword back to the left. The difference from the retracting sword to the right is with the sword finger. From step one, draw sword, draw foot. That's the same movement. While well, step forward and extend sword, the sword finger is moving along your body from right to the left. When you finish retracting the sword, sword finger curves up over the head on the left side. Let me give you another view. From the end of movement four, draw foot, draw sword. Step forward, extend sword. Retract sword. In left side bow stance. Okay, now you can see the similarities and the differences of these two movements. They both involved retracting sword. And the difference is the movement of the sword finger. When retracting to the right, the left sword finger has been following the right hand. When retracting to the left, the sword finger goes separately with the hand holding the sword. We can practice these two moments together. Starting from side view. Drawing foot and sword. Step forward. Retract sword to your right. Drawing foot and sword. Step forward. Extend sword. Retract sword to the left. Okay. Going to give you another view. From the end of movement three. Drawing foot and sword. Step forward. Retract sword to your right. Draw foot and sword. Step forward and extend sword. Retract sword to the left. Another view of movement 4 and 5. Drawing foot, draw sword. Step forward, extend sword. Rotate hand, retract the sword. Drawing foot and sword. Step forward, extend sword. Retract sword to the left. Okay, now we finish the introduction of movement 4 and movement 5. I'm going to connect movement 1 to 5. Open this. Push sword finger in both stands. Extend arms in half sitting stance. Switch sword in both stance. Hold sword in feet together stance. Now we finish movement one. Track sword. Thrust on single leg. Back and chop. Sweeping 
and crouch in stance. That's the end of moment three. Now moment four. Finish moment four. Connecting with moment five. 